My experience owning the analog M6 was not what I expected, and it was not because of the camera. I love the M6, but I found myself using it less and less. My issue was the film process. The long wait between capturing the photo and the print was a total drag. On top of all that, each roll of film cost money to buy and more money to develop, which was a total waste and I saw no value in the process. As a matter of fact, I still have some rolls that I'm not going to bother to develop. And when I was introduced to the darkroom in high school, I disliked the delay between the final print. So the M6 proved that my opinion has not changed in all these years. I quickly realized I had to sell it. The one thing I will say about the M6 was that I love looking at it. I enjoy carrying it around. It became sort of like a talisman. I enjoyed the sounds it made, the feelings I got thinking about the rich history and all the legends that used this same body. I know, it's a bit shallow. But it's the truth. Even though I sold the M6, I had this feeling that it wouldn't be my last Leica camera. That leads me to my current situation. I want a digital M this time around. This decision is not easy since digital M's are thousands of dollars more expensive than the 1700 I paid for my M6. I don't get me wrong, I'm not here to bash film processing. I'm giving you my thoughts. I did it and I'm over it. If you have the time and patience for film, shoot film. Digital has come a long way, but it too has its drawbacks. I've become reliant on the advanced features of modern photography that make it a bit boring if I'm honest. But here's my point. In my opinion, a digital Leica M is the closest you can get to the film experience without the hassle of developing. Some will argue that Fujifilm cameras fit this bill, and I would agree. I owned the X-Pro3, and I had the X100V and the F before I sold them. But the Leica build quality and history culminate to an experience that unfortunately Fujifilm will never match. So for the past two weeks, I've been consuming a ton of YouTube videos on the M10 and M11 respectively. I had dreams of owning this camera. I've never in my life had a dream of owning a camera. So that says something. Yet. I'm still torn because as much as I want the challenges that a digital Leica M you know, offers, I will be remiss if I do not admit my dependency on autofocus, flip screens, and electronic viewfinders. Outside of all those limitations on a Leica, the camera costs as much as my Harley Davidson. The price is astronomical. The purchase is illogical. Most people will and could not fathom why someone would own a camera that costs $5,000 to $9,000 and that's before you buy the lens. I'm trying to fight the urge, but I feel it calling me. It makes no sense because I've grown so used to modern photography, speed, autofocus, and instant gratification. But when I'm out doing street photography, I don't want to miss the moment. The Leica M is a lot like film photography. It's slow. But then again, that may be my limitation. And that's something that I'm eager to explore. I could reason and list the craftsmanship and the build quality and the 60 plus years of history, the simplicity and the elegance. I could go on and on about Leica's commitment to photography. The questions are as follows. Do I want the digital Leica M for its prestige or do I want the camera for its rich history and the fact that all of my photography heroes use the same camera body? Or do the inherent limitations and simplicity that come with owning a Leica peak my creative sensibilities? Or do I want the camera for its small form factor in full frame? So how do I pay for such an expensive camera? Outside of selling a kidney, I believe selling my motorcycle was the only way I can come close to owning this camera. Only one way to find out, right? I need to try the camera for myself. I will have the camera for seven days during my spring break. Now don't get it twisted. Even renting this camera is expensive, but I wanted to spend a good amount of time with it before I pull the shutter and buy it. I'm looking forward to holding the camera and really internalizing the experience. My biggest challenge and the major determining factor will be how fast I can manually focus on moving subjects on the streets. I will admit my excitement, but at the same time my apprehension about my ability to nail focus and judge distances properly is palpable. My hope is that a week is enough time to arrive at a firm decision. I will be pairing the camera with the Leica Similux 1.4 for the full Leica experience. I put my motorbike up on sale on the Facebook marketplace last night. 
Wish me luck. Okay, so thank you for making it this far. Catch my next video tomorrow where I take the Leica M out for a spin. Um, it will be the first time that I do a photo walk on the channel. Let me know how you guys feel about that. I would love to hear from you. Um, in the meantime, take care.